Okay, so the next part that you guys are going to learn here is when you want to go and find the area of a non right angle triangle. Okay, so uh, guys, uh, like last time, you guys did, how you guys find the area of triangle last time? What's the formula you guys have learned to go and find the area of triangle? So if you guys try to recall back, right, the area of triangle, I have a formula of what? You have a one over two times the base times the height. Okay, but here, this one, this formula is only applicable when you are able to determine your height and you are able to determine your base. What about, I give you this triangle, same thing, the triangle that we draw in the beginning, okay? Something like this, a non-right angle triangle. And I just tell you that, A, you have an A or B, R, C, huh? Okay, so you have an A, B, and a C, something like this, okay? So... What about if you guys have the shape like this and then I ask you, hey, go and find out what is the uh, area of this triangle. Okay, so basically, uh, you cannot apply this formula one. Okay, you cannot apply this formula one because you don't know what is the height of this triangle. If you consider this a base, what is your height? Your height is here. Do you have a height? You don't have one. Okay, if you consider this your base, where is your height? Your height may be somewhere here. Do you have a height? You don't have also. Okay, so from here, guys, when you have an area of a non-right angle triangle, right, what's the formula that you all need to remember that? So as here, like the formula that you guys can memorize, okay, you write down first. This one is the 1 over 2, you have a, a B, sine C. Like as here, I show you guys how this formula actually come out. Huh? Okay, here I show you guys how this formula should come out. Huh? Okay, like, okay, so I show you guys how this formula come out. So from here, right, if you want to go and find the area of triangle using the using the traditional way that you can learn, right? Okay, so you need your height. Right? So if let's say we consider the A as our base, right? So where's my height? My height will be somewhere here. Okay, this is the height of a triangle. That's it. So when we cut the triangle like this, right, you can see that you have a right angle triangle come out of the map. Okay, you have a right angle triangle, you have a right angle triangle come out of the map. So if let's say I'm going to consider this angle, lah, okay, I'm going to consider this angle. Lah. So how do I find my height? Lah? Okay, I can use the Sokatoa. I will say that I have a sine theta equals to what? Sine theta equals to the h over b. Okay, so right here, right, what's the h on? Your h equals to the b sine theta. Okay, so you have a high ready, man, right? If you want to go and apply the traditional formula that you guys have learned, to go and find the area, my area will be what? My area will be a, 1 over 2. I'm going to times the base, man. So what's the base of a triangle here? A. Okay, height. What is the height? B sine theta. All right, so when you guys combine them, right? You have a 1 over 2, A, B sine theta. Lo. So when, what's the theta here? The theta is basically your C, isn't it? So I choose to become a C. This is how the formula actually come from. So when you guys have a non-right angle triangle, you just memorize this thing. I can apply the one over two A, B, sine C. And how do we apply it? This is a very important thing. How you apply them, you need to make sure that the two length, okay, is covering an angle. All right, so... These rules, you can only apply it when you have two length covering an angle. So you see, when you use the angle C, you are going to use the length of an A and B. If you want to use angle B, you are going to use the length of a C and the A. If you want to use the angle A, you are going to use the length B and the C. That's it. H will be, this one is a, this one, this one, this one, you just look at here. You look at here. This is a right angle triangle, man. So if here's theta, right, you use sine, uh, it's the opposite over hypotenuse, isn't it? H divided by B. Uh. Right, okay, but this part, this part is just a proving for me. Lah. Okay, it won't come on your exam one. This one just a proving for me. I just want to show you guys that how this 1 over 2 A, B, sine C formula should come up. Okay, but in the exam, they won't ask, right? All right, in the exam, you just memorize this formula then can already. 1 over 2 A, B, sine C can already. And how do you apply it? Lah? You need to make sure that you have a two length covering an angle. Okay, that's how you know it. All right. So okay, see where you think can. Well, okay. All right, you can. You did? Okay. All right. So so you Cherries, Tian, Zheng Xi, and Yuan can understand here. All good.
Yes. All right. So like for example, you can see, you want to go and find the area of this triangle. How you guys find it? You just apply the formula, man. So the area equals to one. So you have a one over two, A, B, sine C, this formula, isn't it? So you can see all. This two line, all right, is covering the angle. Okay. Fulfill my condition already. Then you can just apply the formula. Lah. So you have a one over two times a five times a eight. And then here, right, you have a sine 42.4 degree. Okay. So what you have now? So you just press in the calculator, 1 over 2 times a 5 times a 8 times a sine 42.4. So you get what left? This one, you have an answer 13.5 unit square. You can just use the unit square to go and uh, tell others that this is the area. Okay, that's the thing. Okay, SS3A and SS3B, what are we now? So SS3A, you have a 13.4. SS3B, you have a 19.7. Okay. All right, like next one is the conversion between the radian and the degree. Okay, so what is the radian now? Ah? All right, so uh, last time, so far, lah, okay, from you guys are young and then you guys learn mathematics until now. So most of the time, you guys are going to use what? We use the degree to measure the angle. Okay, so but you guys come to uh, you guys come to MS, right? So what is the new units you guys are going to use? Eh? We are going to use the new units, we call them as a radian. So what is the radian now? Ah? Uh, radian, uh, you guys can just try to imagine. Uh, so, like for example, if you guys want to go and measure the length, right? So, what you have? You have a cm, uh, you have a meter, uh, you have a mm, uh, and so on, uh, right? Uh, so, same thing, uh, when you guys come to the angle, right? Same. Uh, so, angle, uh, actually, you guys have two different units. The first one, we call them as a degree. Second one, we call them as a radian. So, radian is basically another unit for us to go and measure angle on it. So, as here, from uh, uh, if you want to go and convert a degree, become the radian. Okay? If you want to convert the degree, become a radian, how are we going to do? Like, for example, cm to meter, we are going to divide it by 100. This is the thing you guys should know. Okay? So, when you want to go and convert degree to radian, right, what do I do? I'm going to multiply a pi over 180 degree. And then, when you want to, okay, Make the radian become the degree left. All right. When you want to go back where what's thing you're going to do? Okay. So you just multiply 180 degree divided by pi. That's it. So this is a formula that you need to remember. I mean, in the exam, they won't ask you lah, but this is a concept that you guys need to know. Of. Okay, it's not asking about like in your exam, they won't ask you. Hey, so I give you 110 degree, a hey, convert become a radian. No. Okay, you won't have a question like this in the exam, but you seem to remember, I mean, you seem to go and understand that like, what's the concept of this thing. Okay, so this is a conversion. Like, when you want to convert the degree to the, the radian, right, you multiply pi over 100. Okay, so just like the exercise behind, so if you have, if you have a 3.8 degree, I want you guys to convert it, become a radian. <laughs> okay, when you become a radian, how you do? So you just say, oh, I have a 3.8, 3 right? I go and multiply the high over 180 degree okay so from here right you multiply 3.8 you multiply the high over 180 right you get an answer equals to what? you get an answer 0 0.939 rates okay so this is the thing that you have okay and then for example you have a 126.7 right you want to convert it become a radian right you just multiply a pi over 180. Lah. Then you have what? 126.7. You multiply a pi over 180. You have an answer equals to what? This one, you have a 2.21 rates. Okay? So this is how you convert it become a radian. Okay? Ethan, what's the radian? Ah? Radian is basically another unit to measure angle. All right? So like for, so like for example, length, you have a cm, meter, and mm, right? So angle, now you have one more, radian. Okay, so this is how you guys uh, differentiate about the degree and radian. Uh -huh. Okay, so done. This one is a very short part only. Okay, very easy only. But like, I want you guys to memorize something. Okay, I want you guys to memorize something. Come. The next part, the next part, 45 degree, uh, 30 degree, 60 degree, 120 degree. I want you guys to calculate by yourself. You leave your answer in terms of pi. Okay? You leave your answer in terms of pi, which means you don't convert it, become a decimal. 
All right. And I want you guys to calculate a few more angle. 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree, and the 360 degree. Like you convert all this angle to radian. Okay, you convert all these degree to radian, but I want all the answer in terms of pi. Don't make them become decimal. Okay, don't make them become decimal in terms of pi. Okay, right. Complete every single angle. All right, to the team there was. Okay, so Huh? Okay, okay, so yeah, like okay, I don't So the radian angle that you guys have here, all right, 30, you all have a pi over six. Okay, 60, you have a pi over three, 45 is a pi over four, 120 is a two pi over three. Okay, 90 is a pi over two. 180 is a pi, 273 pi over 2, 362 pi. Okay, I know uh, guys, uh, you all can use your calculator to get the answer here. But here, I want you all to memorize every single angle here. I mean, no need all, you just memorize this part then can really. Why? Because later when you guys go to trigo, right, it's very, very important to you guys, right? Okay, so, all right, all these things, I want you guys to go back and memorize today. All right, so next week, I will ask, okay, so that for example, I ask, if I say 60 degree, you need to tell me what's the radian you have. Okay, I ask you 90 degree, you need to let me know what's the radian you have, okay, in terms of pi 1. All right, so, yeah, next week I'll ask, huh? okay? If not, then, mm, if you cannot answer, then how? Copy 100 times. Yeah. So ah, uh, so try to memorize ah. Uh, okay, because all these things is very important one ah. Uh, okay, in your uh, trigo chapter.